developments out of Charlottesville tonight. It involves the assault case where detectives named Daniel Borden from Mason as a person of interest. The attorney for the victim, DeAndre Harris, tells the Nine on Your Side I team he is frustrated with the police and their investigation. I team reporter Hillary Lake is in Charlottesville for us. And why is he saying this, Hillary? Well, Kristen, civil rights attorney Lee Merritt is the attorney for DeAndre Harris. He tells me he doesn't understand why it's taking police so long to file charges. Yesterday, police told me that they were getting ready to release some new information about Daniel Borden and about that case. It's now 24 hours later. I've spoken with the lead detective on the case several times today, and I'm still waiting for that information. Now, right now, we are in front of the Charlottesville police station. I want to show you where this alleged assault happened. It happened right over here in this parking garage on the other side of those motorcycles, just feet from the police station. We also want to show you a screen grab. This is a still photo from one of the videos police are looking at. The alleged assault happened when a huge fight broke out between white nationalists and counter protesters. Police say Mason native Daniel Borden is the guy in the white helmet. DeAndre Harris is on the ground. He says he was beaten with poles and signs by several men. Police have the task of trying to identify every single person in the video, and that is a challenge in part because of the poor video quality and some people who have information about the assault are not speaking up. Investigators also can't tell what happened right before the fight started. Today, I asked Aunt DeAndre Harris, his attorney, about that. He was involved in the group who was chanting down the, uh, uh, the protesters. Uh, but beyond speech, Mr. Harris was not involved in any violent acts in the group. Harris is 20 years old and works at an elementary school with special ed students here in Charlottesville. Since his alleged assault happened in such close proximity to the police station, Harris's attorney is also questioning why police didn't intervene to break up that fight faster than they did. Harris's attorney also tells me that on Monday he will file a civil rights lawsuit on behalf of DeAndre Harris against Daniel Borden and several other men who he's naming as Don John Doe's, that is, and he will add the names in once police identify who they are. We're live in Charlottesville. Hillary Lake, 9 on your side.